a new product. It's, it's, it's when you share a cane, you cocaine. Cocaine? <laughs> yeah. Do, do you think we can get this uh, productized? Because I, re- <laughs> I really want to have like that. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone here at LGC Actual, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel all in the Linux. Uh, joined every week by the man up north, one net, Jordan Sfang. He's, a, he's in a river down by a bondage, daddy. And all the way on the Isle of Britain, Grandpa. staying up late, but th- don't worry, he's going to be staying up later because time changes every night. Yes. And mocks him for his small <laughs> genitalia. One Pedro Mateus, and together with you, Hello. Shot Room Dynamic at home, helping us form Cocaine Motherfucking Voltron. Yeah, that's right. Silence out the uh, part, but Cocaine, that's great. YouTube loves it. Let's co silence cane. Maybe, maybe, maybe well, we're talking about cocaining. It, no, like, it's Coke if, canes. It's, co- it's like Coke candy cane. What? No, we no, do no, not. It, a new product. It's, it's, it's when you share a cane, you cocaine. Cocaine? <laughs> yeah. Do you think we can get this uh, productized? Because I, re- I really want to have like that. But, but I want We can like, set a cocaine dispensary. I, I wanted a network like midday TV to, oh, have you tried the cocaine? And oh, it, oh yeah, 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 you know, we, 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 could, we could get cane.co as, the, as our URL. Think about it. Think about it. We, we can make this digital because you think about like ride sharing, like Uber. This could Digi- be like cane Digital sharing. canes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you merely adopted the cane, and we can call it. I, I got mine on my app. <laughs> Entire you know, cane sharing. Like, hey, do you want the cocaine? <laughs> yeah, man, you can get it on the Instagram. It'd be great. Mm-hmm. It'd be awesome. Brought to you, brought, brought to you by Linux Gamecast. <laughs> A product patent pending. Yeah. Patent pending. <laughs> patent pending. <laughs> patent pending. <laughs> then Google buys us. We're like, all right, we're out. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Had a good run. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So what have we been up to, gentlemen? Um, I <laughs> speaking to YouTube and Google buying us. Call me. Uh, check this out. So they get the things enabled. Um, you'll see it on last week's LGC and last week's uh, weekly daily Wednesdays on the little play bar. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll pop up. It'll give you like the segmented timestamp stuff. So that's there. That's brilliant. And um, I finished the. Raspberry Pi Zero W webcam with a HQ webcam, the high quality webcam that you might want to use and how to stick that together. I finished the video that's up on Patreon for everyone. I have a like legit four way. I was in here with so many cameras that I was scared to move a four way comparison with a DSLR, regular Logitech webcam, uh, Canon Vixia camcorder at 1080p. So you can get it idea of what it really looks like and whether or not you want to stick one together it'd be a great little fun little project but you might want to build your own webcam and after you watch the video here's the downside gentlemen because i stand by you can put this together in five minutes because i was talking mad smack and i'm like five minutes apparently it takes almost 15 minutes to make that video about how you could do it in five minutes because that's how that works of course yeah yeah you gotta tell the people to smash that like button, fam. Dude, smash all those fams. And uh, so you're saying that the YouTubers had it right all along. <laughs> yep. That yeah, it's 15 minutes. Well, it wasn't quite 15 minutes. They changed the ad thing. So oh, that took away people. Like oh, you were just making it for that. <laughs> we don't. We rarely get ads, kids. Pedro, what's new with you? Yeah. So I finished a total of five of these little. Um, I Learned thought you were going to hold open boards. beers, and I'm like, oh boy, it's going to be one of those nights. Um, no, no, no. Uh, finished five of these, so half of the ones I got, and I started to notice something about this uh, little USB. <laughs> uh, sorry, one more? In that, no, the tip is getting tinned as I go along. <laughs> It's, I, I'm just doing it normally. I didn't actually take the time to tin it just yet. I just put the flux, and I just started doing it and it's like oh okay i want to be careful I know, I know you're just getting into like soldering and stuff like that you probably you know the best way to pull that off if you want to do it correctly is uh you'll just need to boil it, it probably i probably just need to uh actually let it heat up and then it's gone <laughs> no no you need to put the entire don't worry they're built for this put the entire soldering iron the whole kit you can just put it in a pot and just boil it but only do it for like 10 or 15 minutes you don't want to hurt it 
I thought you were talking about like the solder itself, like just un- no, unfurl no. the roll of solder and boil it. <laughs> no, no, pr- pretend. He's British, pretend, so <laughs> pretend that soldering iron's a Portuguese drone. <laughs> then boil it. Then boil it. Mm-mm, drone soup in England. Everything is boiled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't that a crash course of like you can? All right, all right fine, whatever. Jordan, you got new That's video like- pixels. I did. Uh, not for this computer, because the 5700 XT still isn't as good as the 1080 Ti. That said, uh, I picked one up for the uh, other system where the uh, Skylake, the old Skylake, I uh, brought that over to my girlfriend's place so I had a computer. You picked up a 1080 Ti? No, I picked up a 5700 XT. Oh. Yeah, uh, the the old new AMD hotness. You're welcome, by the way, because now that I've actually bought it, the new big Navi things are going to outperform the 3080 by like a huge margin versus if I didn't buy it and I waited, I'd be like, oh, well, this is just disappointing. Well, I'm looking forward uh, to my $350 dollar 5700 XTs. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, no, um, it works great. Um, I've been uh, running lots of wine games. ACO is pretty nice, especially when you have uh, a yep. big video card to push it. <laughs> Um, and yeah, the other exciting purchase I made was I went to a thrift store and they're like 20 pairs of socks for $10 sold. So now I have a shit ton of socks. I'm very happy. What are you using I'm them for? My feet. Oh. <laughs> Vent sounds disappointing. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta use them on your hands, man, or your ears. Oh, your socks. It, it, it's a mystery that can only be solved. Um, with a horse. Yeah. What, what are we selling horse socks now on the no, Linux game cast? We got to sell the cocaines first. Once we're uh, out of the cocaines, we're, uh, no, no, we, we need to sell socks for the cocaines. It's the steam. Linux. Linux. And, uh, yeah, uh, there was a new version of proton last week. So this week there's a bunch of fixes for this that a version of proton. one, man. Yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, the new um, client beta came out October 22nd, and they fixed, uh, there was an exploit if you were using uh, free type with the Chromium embedded framework, which the Steam client uses, that's what you see in the store, it's just Chromium. But uh, they fixed that, uh, they also fixed uh, remote play together, and they fixed uh, Proton 513 uh, for systems that didn't define XDG runtime directories like a boss really? <laughs> come on <laughs> what distro doesn't do that though like there's there's some assumed defaults apparently i had to it, look it, it up wait okay it is, oh all right <laughs> i was wondering is, it, is this shame so great and it's like oh what is it like voldemort or os or? you can define them uh but yeah no by default in puppy you can okay. run steam despite it running as root the whole time but you can run steam and it doesn't define the xdg so, uh, directories what about libtheora that's that's video isn't it yeah uh the open source video codec um one what uh they've also had updated the uh the scout runtime as well uh one thing that stuck out for me is they like the the Wayland fixes that's um that's that's a uh, that's something interesting because i've been dicking around with uh steam on Wayland, uh with the with the amd card oh, yeah. Yeah, for again for 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 dicks fix perfect no issues um everything else <laughs> for 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 OpenGL again, that's a little more complicated. Oh. But most most of the shit we're playing now is in Vul- you're gonna hit that Vulcan button anyways. So yeah, this this is a brave new world. Um, I know earlier yeah. in the week they also mentioned that they had done some work with uh remote play fixes and stuff like that. That was vague, but hey, we might be testing that out this upcoming Friday. We got some Sonic Two adventures. Sega. Oh yes, but <laughs> we're finally going to fix toxicity in Dota Two. Well, they're going to try. <laughs> so we, we, we talked about this. Well, the other side of this was the uh, moderation tools they added for CSGO, where you could report players. It would They'd had a system that would try to smart identify the cheaters, but you could send clips and send it to humans to report them uh, or to overview the footage to make sure that they were cheating. Anywho, they're doing something similar for Dota, um, although a lot of the efforts these days seem to be on fighting Smurf accounts because people are getting mm-hmm. banned or people are just registering for new accounts and kicking the crap out of the noobs because they have adequacy issues. Uh, so, I mean, it's probably good in the long run because, you know, if you MOBA, MOBAs especially have a bit of a reputation for having hyper toxic communities, just people you don't mm-hmm. want to be around. And so by introducing tools to combat that, maybe they can actually get some new players to show up. Um, and- do you think that's like the 
end game there. They're like, hey, if, if this is more inviting, because it genuinely is. I mean, Dota and MOBAs, basically anything that's free to play. Yeah, no a barrier of entry at this point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, le- well, le- le- League of Legends, especially, I, re- I remember playing that early in like 2009, and like even that, this was before like everyone's like, oh, League of Legends, uh, the community sucks. Like, if you were if you were just trying to learn, like even even in like the lower ladders, people would just like fucking tear at you for no reason. And it's not yeah. like limited to that. What was uh, the Savage right? Or like Heroes of New Earth mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. Linux, which was you know been available since like 2006, 2007. I legitimately, because I was unfamiliar with this genre of game, I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll try to learn this. Chased right out. Me, too. I'm like, you guys. All right, fine. I give up. Yeah. I was just trying yeah. to figure this out. So ha- ha- having yeah. some tools to combat that, very, very useful. I mean, th- this combined with the like obscene language filter probably should help quite a bit. Um, but that'll we'll get rid of the bulk of them again. I made the joke about being called the N word in Counter Strike <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. Uh, because you do that if you have, especially if you have voice chat enabled, you will hear. Uh, you know what? You know what? Here's the thing <laughs> with voice chat, that's on you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but. This reminded me, it's like, how long have we been hearing about toxicity in uh, Dota 2 specifically? So, and Valve isn't exactly, you know, the company to react to anything particularly quickly. Do you think it's quickly. like a 50 <laughs> split between you're dealing with like legitimate toxicity from people like us versus like maybe another 50% split of bad parenting from the 12 year olds that are playing the game? Probably there's a lot of that, uh, but yeah, no. It, my guess is uh, someone is threatened or is effectively suing Valve but at this point can you because of Dota back. Two, so they have to do something. <laughs> and granted, I was like 14 or 15 before online, and we're talking dial-up and quick. But I was a right cunt <laughs> as as a child. I just was. It was part of you know you something you grow out of you mature you become yeah I, I, but there, there, there's a, there's also the perspective of like the existing grown-up player base shouldn't have to deal with this shit especially if there's a lot of like really racist and homophobic language being thrown about but there's a lot of grown-ups adding acting really childish because they feel protected by the Anonymity. relative high degree yeah, of anonymity that the internet provides yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the, the, I think, that, one of the unfortunate things to realize is like the internet's not real people because you can no. take a perfectly chilled out person like a father with family you know father of three family online does all but, this but that's yeah, like their outlet it's right? the escapism like, thing yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 you can't that's, do it that's, IRL so there he is it, it, it's, it's the outlet but again people shouldn't have to deal with that when they're trying to fucking relax after work and play video games so I'm glad to see the tools in place to make you know gaming more welcoming to people so that people play games we'll see um, I think the tools it, I, I just don't know if they'll ever be able to fix it I'm glad that they're trying to do something I just it, the arms race of like human stupidity yeah <laughs> Good the, luck. The, the, there, there's definitely there's definitely a component but like at the very least you could say like hey some stuff is available if you still don't want to that that's that's fine but you and know don't ultimately yes i mean valve was even talking about like uh i think a 2019 talk they gave at gdc about using ai to uh train with um csgo and all that having these tools moved over to another thing it'll be interesting data one way or the other so mm-hmm. we can say that but maybe just maybe you were the other person that bought an HTC Vive, and, mm-hmm. you, and you game on Linux. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or you grabbed an Index for whatever reason. Yes, <laughs> because you have a lot of money. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and just quite possibly you're tired of drawing virtual, yet dicks artistic for- dicks. Yes, and the paint app. Maybe tilt brush. <laughs> tilt brush is getting a little stale. Maybe you just can't take another dick and. You can only play Alex so many times. Let's be honest. This is true. Mm-hmm. Well, let's play Alex. Let's continue playing Alex, but with a different skin back. I'm talking about Return to Rapture. That's what you think it is, man. Uh, they've taken Alex, given it some new skins, man. Uh, this is like the intro to Bioshock, and it's actualized, and it looks not bad. Is that fair to say? 
Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. I see a lot of elements that they just took from uh, Alex and the emphasis on the piano and the drawing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and they're, they're saying like this is, this is sort of like their what if mashup of like, what if the the combine found rapture blah 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 um it look, it, uh, yeah but you're right it looks pretty good um probably uses a lot of uh, recycled bioshock assets as well um i i, I don't want to give the guy too much crap because it doesn't seem like english is his first language but you know if you think domination is possible here's paypal <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That yeah, the, so if, if, no, I, I like that in the show notes. That translated so hard. I was like, I think Jordan was I, I thought you were typing back to somebody else in a different chat and I right. left that there. I right. really did. Mm -hmm. So yes, that, that that translation powered its way all the way to the show itself. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, but like, yeah, if, if, if you like this, definitely check it out. He has a Patreon link as well. He's going right to continue working on it. Yeah, it's, it's cool to see what people are doing with Alex because like, I, th I think Alex was the first real crack at like, this is like an actual VR game. Like yep. we are. And most importantly, so, Valve being Valve and giving people the tools to play around with it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it will here's cause how we made it. Go do yep. things. <laughs> we, we made all this VR tooling. Fucking use it, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Now, um. Tuesday, Tuesday Amnesia came out, yeah. Pedro, and yeah. I, I know I was, I didn't buy it because it didn't come out until 12 hours after um, midnight <laughs> on the East Coast yes. because I happened to be up. I checked, I'm like, oh, right, that that's out. Went to Steam, just, you know, I was like, okay, fine, yeah. And it's like, no, it will unlock in 12 hours. And it's like, you know what, I don't pre-order. Pedro, with the added benefit of his time machine, Went ahead and picked it up. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was, uh, it unlocked at 4 p.m., which is the time that I stopped working. So it's like, oh, yeah, that's out now. Bought it, started it up, and oh boy, the, the, the <laughs> Amnesia Rebirth. This is, uh, it's a bit busted. And, uh, they put a thread out on Twitter to say that, uh, Windows 7 is not working at the moment <laughs> and Linux can have some graphical artifacts. If you scroll yeah. down to the very first reply, you see exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm so, so scared uh, right he's now. Looking around. Ah! Yep. Light! Sunlight! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, yeah, half of the, uh, or the entirety of the models just straight up don't render if you're looking in a certain direction. That's pretty bad. Also, you can see the uh, the dude that recorded the video, the panel, is down below. The game always starts in borderless window mode and does not overlap the panel, no matter what setting you do, uh, what setting you, well, set it to. And um, there's a couple of other issues that rise up, so... For a frictional game, this is, well, to say it's busted honest, is to put this it is, lightly. This is absolute it's dog shit broken. simply because we've <laughs> come to expect a certain level of quality from the guys and gals at Frictional. All the way back yeah, to... Yeah, and Soma was really good. All the way back to the Humble Bundle, starting with like yeah. Amnesia, Dark Penumbra. Descent. Yeah, Penumbra. <laughs> yeah. And the Penumbras for, I think it was uh, Hubble Indie Bundle 2 or 3 that had uh, the entire Penumbra. Mm. No, yeah. no, I think, I think it was, was the first, I think the first one had Penumbra. It sorry. was just, okay. I know that one of them had like all three games or at least one had the first game and then there were the others. At some um, point, they've all been in bundles. Let's just yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, I, I was going to say, like, to, to, to their credit, the, the Amnesia games from the bundles came out a substantial time amount of time later than the win native Windows versions. Not the case for Soma, though, so that is a little disappointing. Soma had a simultaneous release. So, or yes. not, if, if not simultaneous, like, pretty close. Machine for Pigs. Machi yeah, Machine for Same Pigs as well. Release. Machine for that Pigs, was the though. Chinese room, though. <laughs> yeah, and, th and, th and that game is pretty busted as yeah, is. Uh, uh, <laughs> on a functional, actually runs, and you can almost get through the entire yeah. thing compared to sure. this. Yeah. yeah, no, Machine for Pigs uh, was positively well done compared to Rebirth. But uh, yeah, no, that issue that Ven showed earlier, if we were watching the video version, um, on AMD cards, there is a way to work around it. You can set the Mesa GL version override environment variable to 4.2. Oh, so that, that it only old trick. Uses, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it yeah. only uses OpenGL 4.2, and it clamps it down to that. And 
yeah, that fixes it for people who don't have um, Proton installed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the Proton button also happens to work. The Proton button and you kind of. Yeah, you kind of need it because if you have an Nvidia card, as is the case, uh, I um, yeah, that I wanted to stream it, and Proton was like, "Yo, it works well here." All right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Spooky. I was a little disappointed as soon as I saw that. I was like, yeah, okay, we'll give it some time, and um, well, hey, we'll we'll find out. That was, uh, I think, my disappoint, the legitimately like gut disappointing feeling I had from. The technical issues, I saw that Pedro encountered them, I saw that Strider was encountering them, and it was across the board. It wasn't a special, like, oh, I mm-hmm. have this weird moon configuration. I kind of get the feels of, like, y'all didn't test this. Yeah, the, I, part of me wants to, you know, really, really Benefit hope the that they, yeah. yeah, they just tested with an old, like, R600 uh, Radeon GPU. And, you know, didn't completely not test the whole thing. Mm. In a virtual machine. On 9.10. Yeah. <laughs> oh. but on, on Ubuntu 9.10, yeah. yeah. Or 9. <laughs> <laughs> so we did get some good news. Uh, I, a game that we threw the chairs at a little while back was Goner. And you know what? The best way to describe that game is just fucking bizarre. And, um, because it is. But it was fun. It was passed out a little crazy. The developers, uh, sent over a Steam Curator Connect, a single copy, so we're one-third of the way there. But uh, Goner 2 is out. It's more of the same. Do you get, like, a guacamole vibe from this picture on the right there? Is this me? Yeah, I, 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 I can see where you might get that. I've Cause, Because of, like, the, the, the Mesoamerican thing. Yeah. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, once again, we get to journey our way through deep, dark, chaotic, Bright neon skulls, weirdness, bizarreness. This, this, this don't, uh, don't. I don't, I don't like to say drugs the game, but man, this is <laughs> definitely got a little bit. You should, you should definitely do it on DMT for sure. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. G- Goner, Goner was uh, was fun because it was like you you could kind of see where the end, you could well you couldn't actually see the level until it's you got actually co-op. got there. It ooh, ooh, but it's split, it's split screen, so yeah. you're gonna have to gonna have to do the remote <laughs> play. Damn it, goner devs. Um, but yeah, uh, Linux support on day one is always nice. Uh, the first goner, there was about two years between uh, the Windows release and the Linux release, so it looks like they ported their engine, which is always a good Apper- step. Apparently, it needs Polish. It needs Polish. Yeah. I could I could I could use some Polish. <laughs> some sausages. Fuck yeah. I don't know, man. Uh just i'm curious to play around with it because i expected nothing from the original and we didn't tango with it until like two or three years after release and play it. Mm-hmm. And i just i was cycling through some things that we'd never been over and it's like oh wait th- that's this is strange this is my kind of strange so i'm glad that there's a sequel and it's got mm-hmm. a dedicated fan base indeed it does uh, then again you you'd expect it to because that's a trippy as hell game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, Pedro, can I ask you a very simple question? Mm-hmm. Why are alligators honoré? <laughs> because they have a lot of teeth. And no toothbrush? I thought it was because yeah, they no don't eat enough KFC. They... No, so both of you are incorrect. <laughs> it's because of their mandula oblongata. Oh. <laughs> no, this isn't the Medulla Oblongata, but it is work into that medulla. joke so you can go play in traffic, <laughs> Mr. Uh, yeah. This is a puzzle platformer, and uh, it's available out. Uh, it's out right now. It's not an early access, none of that stuff. It's out. You can buy it. It's pretty cheap. It's Clearly uh, not a trippy game at all here. compared to what we no. were just talking about. This yeah. is more of your uh, nuts and bolts random nightmare creatures. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, this one, it, it, this one here gives um, Blasphemous a run for its money in the trippy aesthetics uh, it, it, it's, <laughs> realm. It's like, what, what if Terry Gilliam and Salvador Dali had like a baby and that baby took a shit ton of acid and then made a game? Yeah, yeah you, no, you definitely get some of the um, like out uh, there. <laughs> uh, Monty Python feel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And uh, it, it is a 2D platformer. Apparently you're solving a lot of puzzles and there's a lot of trippy aesthetics, but it's not. Unlike Blasphemous, it's not a hipster pixel. Which is really nice to see. It's a, that's a nice change. 
weird thing. It looks, weird it thing looks to like say the eyes in, uh, have 2020, it. But see, yeah. I also would think that this hand would be more comfortable if he used one of our cocaines. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, do, you, do you think this is what Sauron looks like when he masturbates? Possibly. <laughs> no, that's the hand of Sauron. <laughs> the hand. That's right. Yeah, you you know, from Game of Thrones. No. Yeah. The, the golden one? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Graphics. I, non-integrated. Minimum integrated. Okay. Makes okay. sense. So it, it doesn't require anything over a laptop to play. That's good. Fuck no. Did you look at that hand? That hand it doesn't <laughs> That, that hand that runs hand, where it wants. It runs in your subconscious, is what happens. Right. It's just, yeah, you, you boot up the game, and there's, like, a flash of light, and then you just pass out, and you go on a, like, the act, the game is, like, the trip it programs in your brain. Do you think it would be fair to call the hand mesmerizing? Maybe. Uh, uh but this game certainly is the first part of that word. Mesmer! Uh, the self-described unique revolution simulator, where you gotta, like, win revolution people over. Oh, what could go wrong with this? Mm, heads will roll quote unquote um yeah uh so this is it's out now uh it has a demo but it's proton only uh so if you want if you want to if you want to try it out uh if you try to download the demo it just gives you the windows client which is a little unfortunate um it looks a little like it, bioshock a little a little bit it definitely borrows a bit of that aesthetic there's like some Existing power you gotta overcome, uh, Terry DeBell, I guess. Black I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't might, know. I might have to check it out just because it has that blackmail and threaten button. No, exactly. Yeah, it could, it, like, it could be interesting. Like I said, free demo. Got to play it in Proton. I, I guess that's it. I, I didn't get a chance to check out the demo this week. Uh, but open open world revolution simulator seems like it could be an interesting premise for a game. Hopefully, it's one of those things that actually works in practice rather than sounds interesting. On I paper. think I've always wanted like uh, some version of Sim Dictator. So, yeah, that that isn't Tropico. That isn't Tropico. That's not <laughs> set on the equator. Okay, <laughs> and this one does look a bit more uh, action oriented, even if the core gameplay here is you're l running a political campaign. Because that is what you're doing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, that that bit doesn't really speak to me. But it's good to see people trying new stuff with the political genre that isn't, you know, democracy or what was the other one? I don't know. Words. Twilight Struggle. Was another so, one that was like heavy. Maybe yeah. you've been looking <laughs> for a fast-paced action punch 'em up simulator type game with. Like super smooth, fluid, non clunky fighting mechanics and um, Brad Pitt time traveling, trying to save the future from a deadly virus. Then you might be interested in Nine Monkeys of Shaolin, man. Um, apparently, Pedro, you know a little bit about this iconic beat em up that <laughs> I don't I, agree with. I, Unless the, I, I looked at okay. the trailer and I looked at the developers. I actually watched the developer live stream. Okay. And I saw them play it and it's like, oh, it's Streets yeah, of Shaolin. Right now. Do you, like, hey guys. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's Streets of Rage, but with Shaolin monks, that, that, that that's what that is. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed, you know, this is another issue where, hey, it's got the uh, Linux version, but the demo's Windows only, so I tried it with Proton. What, what's up with that? I don't know, man. Two for two on this, but, yeah, it moves very, very slow and not fighty. This is, uh, I dare say Pedro would enjoy it because it's Souls-like combat. It's Streets of Rage. It's slow. <laughs> Streets of Rage? No, 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 no. Streets of Rage is breakneck compared to this, but Unlike Streets of Rage, this has online co-op. It's currently $19.99, and it's out. If you want to play around with it, you can add runs under Proton for the demo, so I highly suggest doing that. No, um... No love for no. that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. So here, 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 here's the thing about that. Proton-only demo really uh, misrepresents what the end product is going to be. Because if you mm -hmm. get the, if you play the demo, you say, okay, this runs fine. And then, you know, you, you, you hit the Linux button and you're like, why doesn't the game start up? Why is there, why doesn't my controller work? I, I paid for the native version of this game. Why isn't, why isn't it working? I don't know. It seems a little suspect. Yeah, that sounds like you're just an entitled Linux gamer that expects to be treated equally because your money but, was spent uh, the same way. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Despite so, having so, paid the exact same amount of money. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Listen, <laughs> you know, you, you, we, you've changed my mind. I'm, I'm saying, you're, you're right. Jordan, I've been trying to tell you for the past eight years, you should just be grateful and shut the fuck up. Be grateful that you got something for your money. Yeah. Instead of, instead of, instead of a kick in the gut, I guess. Right. And tell everyone it's great and there's no flaws with it. So no one will be confused. And yeah, mm-hmm. that, that's how we need but, to promote but, things. But only if it's running on Proton. Yeah. So <laughs> that's the thing. Go check it out. Jackbox Party Pack 7 is out. I knew we were kind of, we played a little bit in the after shows and um, last, last week, last week. I think yeah, we, we got we, like we, two we, games in and we, we, a, we got Fibbage and uh, what was it? The, the not talking points. The yeah. TED talk. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for giving my TED talk. That was kind of interesting. Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. With that. Um, yeah. Seven's out. Uh, Arthur sent me a copy. I'm like, oh, that's how I knew seven was out. He was like, go play. I'm like, which we did. And uh, we'll probably be doing it uh, this next week, next Friday. We'll be doing that on the 30th, man. Um, it's more Jackboxy, more party, more packy, man. Uh, how many new titles? How many new games did we end up Four, with? I believe. Just four? I think there's more than Oh, five. 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 It's a, ah. I, I, I can't read on the screen where it says five new games. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's like Jacked <laughs> Up and the Devil and the Details and whatever the hell the rainbow. Friday night, the champion of, I don't know. We'll play around with it. We, I've only had like a chance to play two and blather. Huge rounds. pale critter, Moby Dick. Yeah, sounds about right. Currently twenty nine, ninety nine. Um, easy to play multiplayer. You know, depending on how you want to do it, you only need one copy of this because people can play with the browser with the app, and that's how you get the audience in. Sixteen oh four, eighteen oh four is recommended with the Ubuntu's eight gigajoules RAM, three gigs of space, and all I will say. Well, somebody, all right. Thank, thank you, Jackbox, for even retroactively, you know, going back and putting all of your Jackboxes on Linux, even though they were just fucking flash apps with, you know, the back end connectivity. Could whoever's working there, because I know this is de- probably down to one person, almost certainly, increase your base canvas size from 720 to 1080 for like 2021, because that's a bullshit window size, okay? And it's all vector stuff. So I don't know like maybe a 1080 option. So I'm not dragging it going, that's 1080 ish, right? OBS. No OBS is like, get fucked. Um, here's, 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 scale here's, it. Some, here's some pixels. <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. So it seems like it was pretty decent, man. Um, what do we got up next? Oh, Grand Turso. Yes. Uh, Grand Turso. Uh, so the Steam Tabletop Festival is going on. Uh a couple of games have come out. Uh, one of them came out on Linux. It's Suro. Um, it's a board game. I've actually played the cardboard version, and it's quite fun. Bar- you're basically- loop battles of history. Yep, you're 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 a color. You try to get your loop from try to get as long a loop as possible. That's basically the game. Um, it has online multiplayer. It's on available on Linux. It's seven bucks. Like I said, I play I played the IRL version. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, if you want to check it out, they I actually sent like us the some- name of their studio man, Thunderbox. Thunderbox. Uh, yeah, they, they did some keys. Would you go out on like a second date with somebody called Thunderbox? Absolutely. Me too. Yeah. I, 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 want, I want to see if their box like lives up to the name, right? Right. Four player Any, local. Okay. Four player online as well. Uh, like I said, the, the, uh, they sent us some keys over Curator Connect, so we might okay. be taking a look at that right. eventually. Yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, so yeah. are you prepared to explain? Lane my Thunderbox ass how all this, the mechanics are going to work? I don't have a choice in the matter, apparently, so... See, that's going to be the entertainment of that stream, kids. <laughs> <laughs> an exercise in willful ignorance. Because that's going to be the name of the stream. I'm just saying, man, it's not an act. I mean, when I give negative fucks about something, it's hard to get the knowledge in, but I try. That makes it real later, because you can tell I'm trying. Uh, honestly, the game is pretty short. It's pretty simple, to, like okay. a single game. Is it like um, based on anything, or is this like whole cloth creation with um, like some kanji thrown on some rocks? I think it's 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 based on like a pathfinding game, but I don't know what the specific one is. Okay. Uh, uh, it's based on a traditional um, Japanese pathfinding AI. Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, you know, back, back from the Shinto era. Yes. <laughs> that bitch was written in like I don't know, Pascal. All yeah, right. it, 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 it was hand, it was hand like calligraphied onto a scroll. Right. You got to punch it into, you got to punch it into like Borland C plus oh, oh, it was a punch. Then, uh, wait, it's a punch scroll. Yeah, it's a punch <laughs> scroll. Damn it. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we are talking about 
why you should absolutely install NVIDIA drivers if you want a fully functional computer with the Kernel 5.9. And chances are, at this point, you've probably uh, already tuned out, or uh, you've discovered that uh, LGC Weekly now has the <laughs> little uh, broken up progress bar like Pedro, everyone else on the internet. Pedro, 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 Pedro. But why Pedro, would they be why? watching this? They would skip it. Why were there three eagles, Pedro? I thought there were four. Oh, those were lights. Never mind. <laughs> no, it's 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 the Threegle. Threegle. <laughs> Threegle. <laughs> it's no no relation to Schmeagel. No, it's it's kind of like Schmeagel, but we made them entirely out of numbers. Yeah. <laughs> and feathers. oh god, so hybrid. <laughs> it's a it's dinosaur. Also, it's it's also battery powered because it is a hybrid. And unfortunately, it's sterile. <laughs> <laughs> Thankful, thankfully it's it is. a we hybrid don't want... sterile dinosaur schmeagle yeah. okay <laughs> we, we we don't we don't want that shit to breed because it's already trying to breed with everyone if you want to help uh help Go cover ahead. our condom budget for yeah. this horrible monstrosity that we have created to stop <laughs> it from breeding and creating more of these three goals that will consume our world Schmeagles can... and three goals that's it. <laughs> Three goals, man. Um, head, on, head on over to Linux Game. Like, sure, fucking head on over to Patreon.com. Yeah, Patreon.com and Smeagol.Linux Game. No, let's that, not do wait, that. We're, 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 we're going to have a new goal. It's called No Three Goals. And if we make it, then we won't inflict that on no, you. Dude, but we, it, can have, we can have our only Three Goals. Yeah, if you, maybe, um, you know what? Maybe, maybe if you give us three bucks uh, an episode, uh, you can uh, you can be a three goal. I don't know if you if you give us two bucks or if you give us a buck an episode, you get access to the show notes. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty neat. Any level will get you access to the Discord channel, that's which awesome. in turn gets you the pre pre super shows. And we go live seven Thursday every Saturday. We talk about bullshit. We strategize about Wolfenstein, and then we, we go live uh, with this. You can uh, come hang out in the audio version for that. Just kick in over to the creep show, and that also applies to Wednesday's show. If you are one of our glorious, glorious, arguably fiscally responsible executive producers, uh, we kick you a uh, video link for the pre-pre super shows Ooh. and that you can watch live and Indeed. participate with. That's right. There's a whole other bunch of Patreon stuff that you can get access to. You can check that out, though. Uh, we got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. We will not sell you a three goal. We will not sell you a cocaine. You're going to have to buy a cane and share it for yourself until we get the supply chain up and running. But you could also buy some T-shirts. You can buy some stickers, some coffee mugs. We got we got hoodies if you want if you want to cover your shame. Uh, and we got wish lists. I don't have anything entertaining on mine anymore except for the mask. Uh, um, do you? let me see. Hang on. We uh, da, 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 I got I got books. Go. I don't know. It looks like you got some nuts and some bar bolts, and that kind of looks like a cocaine. It could, you could use it as a cocaine. It has it can More support cocaines. up to seven hundred pounds of stuff. <laughs> Basically, it's more like a lightsaber. Here's like a exactly saber. what I do. I I like to go to Jordan's Amazon wish list so I can just or, or I can just feel how stupidly overpriced stuff is in Can Canada. It, yeah, it, it it has like fuck you pricing. That's great, but with like an extra fuck you <laughs> shaving, like a truffle fuck you shaving right on top of it. Yeah, it's like some edible edible gold leaf Dude. of just fuck yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> It's like reasons, man. You know, Britannia, not quite as bad. But damn you it. convert dollars to pounds. It's a run, run around. One man. to one, basically. Well, I was thinking about this earlier. This is what Pedro Pedro's got some microphones. He's got don't, 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 whatever that is. It's got a heatsink on an NVMe. Um, don't. <laughs> NVMe SSDs. Another this, USB soldering iron. <laughs> this one I will vouch for because you can unplug the USB thing and plug it right into the mains because it comes with an adapter. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, whatever that is, and fans Stop. and stuff like that, an XLR cable. Look at you being adventurous. And of course, if you want your name <laughs> here, blinking for all blink eternity. There's a one four hour studio, the studio wish list, and I'm working on building a DAW. I'm, well, I'm going to experiment. It's a proto prototype, proto Pi with Pi four mm -hmm. to see if I can build like a little music workstation for people on the cheap. Uh, chairs, microphones, preamps, blinky shit. Uh, Tablet, air hose, yes, <laughs> drills. It's it, most of it's like functional. <laughs> thread ripper, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two two generational thread rippers. You know that hot, sexy stuff. But hey, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we we got to thank someone. All this stuff uh, we do, we do. Um, we got to thank a Lord Mocha. Mocha. Yeah, they're our latest mm, Patreon. Yeah. So they get access to the pre pre super shows. And, and if you're not a Patreon, then you don't. You, you, don't. you can also yeah. go check out. Uh, the pie stuff oh, we put stuff out early man like that pie cam is going to be yep. sitting there available as a preview for patrons until 
I get the time to sit down and finish doing all the wordy bits and all that extra stuff. So you're probably going to get it a week or two before everyone else. And uh, it's a nice little thank you because, you know, you thank us with, you know, money uh, with your Fed coin. Kevin Federline's Bitcoin. It's Fed coin, baby. You know, <laughs> sexy coin. Gov coin. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Pedro P coin. Pedro coin. I'm interested. <laughs> uh, like, OK, we're still shilling. So uh, don't run away just yet. Did you oh, see that PayPal is going to start taking um, Bitcoin? No, Not just but Bitcoin. The, uh, it's uh, a, a number of different cryptocurrencies. Coin, yeah? <laughs> Do- Dogecoin? <laughs> that one doesn't exist anymore. Uh, <laughs> what, what about Dentacoin, the cryptocurrency exclusively for dentists? Right. <laughs> Probably Ethereum. Ethereum. I can see Ethereum, Bitcoin. That's, that's, that's kind of... Uh, Big. Even if you're thinking about you're like f us, but um, you know, if you're able, like, if especially if you're like you're in countries and stuff like that, being able to uh, pay through PayPal with Bitcoin, not for like Patreon or anything like, but you would be able to. But for like just being able to buy stuff through that places yep. that normally accept PayPal, that's Drugs, really huge. Guns, slaves. Yep. No, we're not all Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> That. Man, Canada really de- does need a political reform. <laughs> Re- yeah, right. We, we, we have all those enslaved meats doing our bidding. We're talking about these poor trees, the syrup whoa, trees. Whoa. No, Who's no, 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 no. Stand up for the maples, Jordan. Moose Moses, stop Moose eating is. those maples. Mo- Moose Moses is going to say, "Let cruel. my people they go." They Mooses. They, they trapped them in the ground and sucked their delicious. Uh, Let listen. If they didn't want to be drained of their blood, it shouldn't have been so delicious in the first place. So um, <laughs> normally, there's something we got to deal with when there's a new kernel, and uh, it's delicious chicken. But this time, uh, the Popeye's kernel comes out. Is that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, there's been an issue because, especially like the Oh, heinous closed source binary treachery that is the nvidia blobs normally what would you say guys uh about a week two weeks then we'll get the uh updated drivers maybe a month at mm-hmm. most yeah then at roll most out. yeah it's usually been like a week week and a half before we get an actual uh driver that supports the latest kernel but uh, as it turns out, with kernel 5.9, it may take a bit longer. Uh, Ram C from um, NVIDIA has put out a bit of an announcement on the uh, developer forums to say that due to an incompatibility, uh, we advise customers to defer updating to Linux kernel 5.9 plus until mid-November when an NVIDIA Linux GPU driver update with fi- uh, kernel 5.9 plus support is expected to be available. So, yeah, basically, uh, we had a couple of people in, um, in Discord, uh, Mr. Alert was one of them, say, to say that the unified virtual memory module, the uh, NVIDIA underscore UVM dot KO, that just doesn't load with kernel 5.9. It builds, but kernel 5.9 just doesn't load it. So, yeah, it, it, it is mostly a CUDA uh, thing because CUDA is the one that makes the uh, makes use of the unified virtual memory. So, so. with five point nine, I can't make CUDA go burr. Not <laughs> not until mid November. <laughs> yeah, you have to wait till mid November, which is about half a month away. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, and it, lo- it looks like they're not stopping you at the installer either. So if you want to <laughs> tango with that, then you know. This is How about the, <laughs> isn't that, it's kind of odd for nvidia though normally it's just a big honking no the second it detects something it doesn't like and it's like f off can i can I override it nope I, I guess cuda cuda's a niche enough case because not everyone installs cuda yeah well so. com, compute you know com, like you gotta think you're gonna have like uh nvn code cuda and all that installed if you're gonna be streaming and i, I hear a couple of people are streaming with nvidia these days even under linux but <laughs> a couple <laughs> um I, i'm not worried about it because you know uh my overlords at black magic design told me that kernel 5.7's the it's the absolute tits and i can just shut the fuck up Seems so, legit. Yeah. <laughs> i can't argue with that logic <laughs> I mean, uh, when you're bowing down to the proprietary lords, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, magical, so, magical black box. You know speaking, what? Speaking Maybe. of, yeah, dude, you're looking at this and you're like, man, you, that that's not crazy enough for me, man. I I want some open source insanity in my life. Shit. 
We got it for you. <laughs> Linux firmware AMD GPU daily. Yeah. Weekly daily wake Wednesday. Up, wake up every morning and find out whether or not your graphics card is going to continue working. This is a PPA. So this is going to work with like Ubuntu and your pop OS and your mints and all that fun stuff. What but about Debian? That, ew, you no. can enable <laughs> PPAs in Debian. You, you can. You shouldn't, but you can. Uh, don't listen to Pedro. Um, <laughs> Period. <laughs> what does this work? Uh, Groovy. All right. The Groovy Gorilla 2010 and Focal 2004. Those are there. They're available. Jordan, is this really as bad as I'm making it out to be? Is just like straight up. Okay. Let's roll it back. Jordan, why do I need firmware for my brand new AMD video card that I just stuck in my well, system? Well, you see, most uh, most of the code Isn't is actually open source. Well, mo most of it is, but there are some blobs that uh, you can't legally distribute with the kernel, so they distribute they distribute it, it as a separate package. It's usually just the firmware for the cards so that the driver can actually interact with it. So this guy was saying that he got a 5700 XT, and on Ubuntu, uh, he was having all sorts of problems. Grabbing the latest Linux firmware from the Git and installing it seemed to fix it. So this is basically a script that will do that. It will grab the latest Linux firmware, uh, every morning and install it. So really this doesn't affect you unless you're like rebooting your computer fairly often. Cause that's when the new firmware kicks in. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know like if you feel daily? like you need more. Yeah. If you, if you need, no, just, just get updated daily. I don't, I don't no, know. No, no. I'm talking about rebooting your computer. Like yeah. No, yeah. shutting it down at yeah, night at when night, you go to sleep and then turning it Cause, it cause you don't hate the environment. <laughs> you just want to use power. For you. That's why yeah, it's blow dryers. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're mining some Bitcoin on your AMD card with open source drivers. I don't, I don't know. The, po the point is um, that, yeah, maybe, maybe this is an Ubuntu problem because I, 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 I'm going to pull the list writer. It works for me. I recently just purchased a 5700 XT. I popped it into my Fedora 32 box that I didn't even install it with. I installed it on the Intel iGPU and everything was working fine. So maybe this is, maybe this is an Ubuntu problem. Okay. It's this is definitely an Ubuntu solution. Let's so. definitely talk about like the Linux thing, like on a, on a scale of like not to six inches. Uh, were you a little disappointed that everything just worked? I was ecstatic. That was exactly what I was hoping for. Because you think that's like a satellite box, and you're like, all right, that works. <laughs> yeah, it, I, 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 <laughs> I don't have to worry about it, so that's good. Yeah. Well, I know I, that we've had the conversations of like, yeah, but you get to tinker with it. Yeah, you do get to, you get you get you get all the you get all the cool stuff that Valve is working on with Mesa. I could run Bleeding Edge Mesa if I want to get all the neat stuff. I can play Amnesia Rebirth by setting an OpenGL version, so <laughs> I got that going for me. Um, yeah. yeah. But you know, you, you know, if if you find that your firmware is constantly out of date and you don't feel like keeping it in sync with your kernel, there you go. You know, it's a Ubuntu LTS. It's not, you know, exactly what they're trying to sell. You know, up to date drivers, firmware. It's not the the core focus what of the distribution. Pedro is trying to say <laughs> that this PP is useless because it's not a snap. Uh, I'm could, glad could it's you, not a snap because if it was a snap, could you imagine drivers and snaps? <laughs> uh, I'm sure Canonical can. It, it only works in containerized applications. Listen, yeah, I'm sure that's Canonical's. All you have to right do is now. put put the <laughs> OS inside a container. <laughs> yes. You, yeah, no, no, wait, wait. It, you gotta plug your video card inside the container. You gotta like transport it into the computer and then plug it in. This is where the soldering iron comes in handy. Yeah, but it's <laughs> in the computer. It's in the computer. Smash. <laughs> Honestly, at, with this PPA, what you should do is if you're if you are having the same issues that the creator uh, is reporting, and you're getting random freezes with the uh, 5700 or 5700 XE or even the 5600. The thick. Install a firmware version that stops that from happening and then disable the PPA without purging it, obviously, uh, so that you keep that up-to-date firmware version and you won't be playing Russian roulette every time you, you reboot. You, 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 so. you probably want to set the package exclude for that as well so that actual <laughs> updates for newer versions don't replace it. People, don't do that. Go out and have some fun. Learn some new things about your system. Don't listen to Jordan. Um, let it get, burn. Get a, get, a Matrox, get a Matrox card. Live, live we on the edge. about last week. Uh, we had two somethings. Uh, heavy Metal, Fac, and um, Sin. Sin. Mm -hmm. Might have been two weeks ago. Uh, the source was made available. It showed up. Not necessarily maybe enough to build the games, but hey, it's better than what we didn't have already. That, we were grateful for that because typically game, so 
source code for game is just lost into the ether, and which really sucks because it's not there to go back and look and to study from and to iterate from. It's just great, great resources to have. Some people are trying to fix that, Jordan. Yeah, so this is from the game history that org linked to all this stuff is in our show notes. They're talking about the introduction to the video game source project. Um, they're going around, they're asking developers from old deprecated games or developers that don't exist anymore. Hey, do you have any old source code? Uh, and can we have it? And Wait, the more- or are they like, hmm, don't get any more of that um, source code? Yeah, pretty sauce. much. Give me the so, sauce. As, as it turns out, it doesn't actually hurt to ask because they did ask and most of the developers are like, yeah, sure, we got a bunch of old floppies and shit. So they mailed them the floppies. Uh, they have a bunch of old computers they can archive code from. Uh, and yeah, they're they're making it available. Um, and the, the, the issue here is getting the IP holders on board, but a lot of them, if you say, like for Prince of Persia or the Aladdin game, um, it may be a little bit challenging, but... One of the cool things is um, because they're yeah, getting access to all the, of these discs, it's like, it's like what, what, what's the chances you're going to run into some like ASCII porn on those? Probably <laughs> ab- 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 about one. But one, one of the interesting things is like they, they got a bunch of in development code for a bunch of, for like, a, I think it was, I think it was actually Aladdin and they finished a level that was incomplete. So you can do cool stuff like this. And I mean, we've been saying from Genesis that this sort of thing is necessary. And I'm glad that a group of folks have taken the initiative to pick up the torch. Um, Cause here, here's the thing. A lot of artifacts of early film and television history are just gone. Tapes were destroyed lost overwritten um there are like doctor who episodes we will never fucking see because those tapes are gone uh there are uh, the vast majority of silent films don't exist anymore because the physical media that had that contained them is gone if we can avoid that in the gaming space i think this is a good move going forward so hopefully this will help I really do hope that this picks up momentum not just for everything that jordan just listed uh but Especially, I want AAA publishers to see, oh, that might be a way to get some, you know, uh, brown nose, uh, good karma internet points, so we'll just release some of our EA older thought games. Thought. EA thought so. Yeah. yeah. Com- Command I kinda, and Conquer? It's, yeah. yeah, it's exactly because of EA releasing Command and Conquer that I'm like, okay, can we get, like, most of the AAA publishers doing that with their old catalog of games, please? <laughs> no, we got to repackage to you and sell it onto like the PC mini that's running like a virtualized awesome. copy of like Windows 98 so Dude. you can play the games <laughs> we, we as they were originally we're presented. We're turning it into an app and um, no, this is brilliant. No. I was very happy to see this. I'm glad it's there. Um, good on you lot. Keep doing the flying spaghetti monsters work. But we got a progress report with Godot and it's all about those X11s. X gonna give it to you. Yes, you think after all this time, especially with uh, Godot being around for as long as it has been, that it would have X11 uh, X11 display server basically down pat. But as it turns out, uh, they don't. They had a couple of uh, lingering issues, and with the progress report that they released on the twentieth of this month, they basically have been addressing a few of the issues that they've run into, like um. They fixed a bunch of, in case you're working in the uh, Godot editor, there's um, fixes with, there were there was a delay in showing pop-ups. If you had the split windows mode enabled, instead of having everything in the one window, uh, pop-ups were showing on multiple screens instead of just a screen where uh, the editor was in, uh, dragging and dropping stuff between the windows if they happen to be in different screens. That was kind of an issue, and uh, there were delays with keyboard inputs, and the clipboard just, you wanted to paste something, and it was just not I as far as <laughs> little bits of news was that concerned. I was very happy to see is, uh, we're talking about Wayland support right there at the end. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, what's next for Godot? It's like, support for Wayland will be added in the next 10 years. Um, <laughs> it will be so done just as in a time for Wayland. Okay. display server. <laughs> yeah, implementation. Let's kick that down for a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, no, it was actually that last bit that got me thinking. Uh, okay, so Something got you thinking? I know it's dangerous. Uh, thinking it's gives you wrinkles. Dangerous. It, it's just boring. Uh, the Depends what, what it got me thinking think was we've we've seen like a lot of talk about using say Vulkan and uh, like GLX uh, works for X11. Maybe using Godot 
to create an entirely new desktop environment. Just get game developers working on an OS-wide user interface. Part of me loves that idea. It would be an absolute clusterfuck at the beginning. I have no doubt of that. But I really want them to do that. I want to see what someone can do with a game engine that's designed for, you know, graphical utilization. Keep keep going. (laughs) We have more than 15. We're talking about (laughs) desktop environments and window managers on Linux. It's more than 15. All right. (laughs) But it's It's, 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 really like to see the tortoise. (laughs) <laughs> Once you think you've tried out the last Linux desktop, someone has produced a new Linux desktop for you to try out. Oh, I thought you were just talking about things that were delicious with olive olive oil. Mm-mm, I don't Achilles. know what Achilles tastes like. Hey. All right, that's tastes enough like on the go-to. We got to talk about Devolver Digital and what they've been up to. They got hitched, man. They got hitched with who they get hitched with? Vin Crow Team, our favorite Croatian psychopaths, man. It's a marriage made in wherever they're at, man. So Croatia. There, there was like a town of oh, um, Zagreb, Z A G R E B. Zagreb. Zagreb. What happens in Zagreb <laughs> stays on the internet because they're just putting that up there. They're like, yo, man, we've been having sexy time with each other for a long, long time, like 30 something years. We just thought we'd put a ring on it or however it works. I didn't say what type of ring. It might not be for your figures, if you know what I'm saying. But how does this affect the Sharia Sam 4 release for Linux? Probably doesn't. Then like, what are we talking about? Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, De- Devolver has put out a lot of Linux games as a publisher. Uh, Crow Team has put out a lot of Linux games as a developer. Frankly, like Devolver has published most of Crow Team stuff for like the past mm-hmm. decade now. Mm-hmm. So like, it, it, I, I look at this and I go, "Huh, that sounds about right." Yeah, no, it, yeah. it's about fine. It, it's about time that they actually got hitched because uh, they've been grinding on each other so hard over the past couple of years. Might as well. I'm just glad <laughs> it's not EA or Activision that scooped up oh, Protein because, yeah. <laughs> like that, that, that would have that would actually be the worst. Like, oh, it's Devolver. All right, like I don't sure why not. So yeah. I just realized something, Jordan. What was what was that? This next story should have been after the uh, code preservation story. It, prob- <laughs> it probably should have. Yeah. We, 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 we can fix it in post. So uh, Night, Dive, Night Dive Studios, is there another, there another studio that takes on older games and uh, fixes them up, releases them, very much like a beam dog type? Uh, they have gone and released the source code for Machines Wired for War on a GPLv3 license. Um, so thanks a lot for releasing the source on this. Uh, it's one of the first 3D real-time strategy games uh, that was produced. Um, they have an SDL version up, uh, and you can actually get the assets for free, just not on github i actually put the link to that in the show notes because you have to go to their website and you have to click on another link so i saved you a click um so if hey, you want to get is this that yeah yeah it is All right. it, i mean uh, w for windows but yes <laughs> yeah I, I mean if you're if you're gonna have a project that you need to compile on multiple operating systems cmake is kind of like your best option i mean it um, works um what, what was the scheme about did anybody like look it up it's command and conquer type of real time strategy. Uh, in fact, I looked at the screenshots and it is basically command and conquer. It's it's, so, from, it's yeah. from that era. Command, I mean, command and conquer was ripping this off theoretically. So yes, <laughs> machine disk. Oh, you can just like download this stuff, right? Yeah, you, you yeah you can straight up get the assets for it and build it yourself. Um, right. Machine XP so, patch. Ooh, X, you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for running it in wine windows xp yeah. uh, uh but yeah no uh again good 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 on night dive for that they've been pretty open source friendly uh so i'm happy to see that they continue that I the game but will live on you, you gotta register for a hotmail account then dude check it out if there's something we're in a weird weird situation um people people of my vintage um we have nothing but distrust for redmond microsoft because we've went through Hey, Microsoft's company, Linux. Bill Gates, like, yes. Legitimately, and Balmer. Balmer was the big one. Balmer's like, Linux is a cancer. And like, going up, like, backing, backing SCO, during that whole nonsense thing. Acquiring we, SCO specifically so they could do that. We are trying to learn, um, I think Novell was the one that bought SCO. Okay. But yeah. I, I, I know Microsoft said, were in bed I, with Novell at one point. Yeah, they, so. they, they own like, they own like thirty percent of Novell. <laughs> um, it's hard to trust Microsoft because when Microsoft does any, but then 
Microsoft contributes more open source code to, to yes, they do. But Microsoft is a huge soulless, faceless corporation. There's parts of Microsoft that will absolutely with good people trying to do good. There's those organizations that they can't get through the bureaucracy and it ends up being dumb. They just get good old fashioned dick Microsoft doing good old fashioned dick Microsoft stuff. Cause when Microsoft does something good. I always sit back and I'm like, Oh no, like what? We gotta wait for it to do something bad so it balances out the Microsoft universe because that's how it rolls. This, well, this is what we get for getting Edge on Linux. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I said when Microsoft is good. <laughs> this, yeah. No, yeah, we were waiting on that part. Edge was punishment for something yet to come. Was it productive? Uh, oh, wait, oh it, it was it releasing the source code of Calculator. Possibly. <laughs> that was it as a snap. Um, yes. So check this out. Everyone was worried, and I'm not going to say not rightfully so, when Redman wrote Marcus, like, oh, Berg, made him a billionaire overnight, right? Mm -hmm. With Java, mm -hmm. Minecraft version, and that's what it was. And everyone sat back, and we all went collectively, they're gonna fuck it up. They, they've been working on that real hard, Brad. <laughs> um, moving it away from Java, there's like the version in C that's available for like Windows game stores and shit like that. And then the C -sharp, and Android. C sharp. Yeah. yeah. C -sharp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think like a lot of you, I am not really into Minecraft, but I've followed it up to know, okay, well at least we get the Java version. <sighs> They're adding a certain requirement to that Java version. Um, I welcome to what old timers will call the extend phase and mm. yeah, Java edition moving house, same Minecraft. You want to improve the account? Yeah, you want to play it? You need to get a Microsoft account, fucko, because that's how we roll. We're Microsoft. And they're going to just, like, you know, dance on stage, try to eat a cake or something like that, say something about developers, and you're still going to have to make an account. If so, yep. like, Yeah, Microsoft, a special, a special cape. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're going to give you a reward for this thing that you have no option to do if you want to continue playing Minecraft. So Java account migration. <sighs> Can we panic? I don't know. I feel like a good panic. It's been a minute. So, like, here's the thing. They they they, they position it as, oh, we're doing this because, you know, the Minecraft account system is full of holes. It was implemented when Notch was there. Mm -hmm. um, they need to move something with, to something with, like, 2FA and, like, better permissions and whatnot. From that, I get that. Um, but, you know, forcing people to have a Microsoft account. Uh, is still kind of crappy. I, I don't think I don't honestly think it's gonna drop usage a lot too much because like I have a I have a fucking Hotmail account from forever ago that I used to sign up for like crap that requires my email. I'm sure everyone has a spare Microsoft account lying around, mm, and you can create Outlook accounts for free. So <laughs> yeah, but still, it's it, it's kind of a shitty move, and it. But it's not something entirely unexpected, like Ben said. It's they, they they embraced Minecraft with their big arms, and now begins the slow digestion of mm -hmm. yeah. Hope, hopefully, they don't do it with Obsidian because that, that was that was the big one. Sure. They, they they bought Obsidian that puts out a lot of games for Linux. Uh, yeah, well, Microsoft's turning into a game studio, and that whole situation, uh, to me personally, <laughs> seems a little sus. A little, a little suspicious. A so, little bit. <laughs> little, little bit. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is uh, opensus.itch.io. So, uh, you know, pe people have been talking about this Among Us game, the online mafia, werewolf, spaceship, mutiny, throw people into the vacuum of space, volcano simulator. Um, and, you know, it, it's been getting a lot of traffic on Twitch. Lots of people playing it on the YouTube People on Linux, eh, they're a little hesitant because they got real into this game called Fall Guys that implemented easy anti-cheat, and then you couldn't play it online anymore. And then when this other big multiplayer game started getting a lot of traffic, people like, should we buy this and play it in Proton? Yeah. Look at uh, that. Yeah. So uh, right. Oh, look, it's made in Godot. Godot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so right now they they had the they. We've talked about the server backend that they've made. This is the front end now, so you can connect to it. You can right now you can kind of just walk around the map. Um, they still got to implement things like the challenges, murdering people, the vote system. But hey, they have um, they have something in place. Uh, there is a GitHub for it as well. So if you want, you can start contributing to it. Uh, yep. Uh, also, they have a subreddit, so if you want to stay up to date uh, with what's mm -hmm. going on in that, um, keep an eye on it, man, because I mean, that, that'll be a fun little open source, and one thing Linux is known for mm -hmm. is there are open source uh, clones of games, but that, that's a time-honored thing, man. Yeah, we, 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 we have Mario Kart at home. 
Mario Kart at home. Oh, <laughs> Mario Kart at home. Um, <laughs> Gets home, Mario Kart. <laughs> it's just good to see. So, okay. Good on you lot. We got to get out of here because we get the chairs to be thrown. Indeed. Coming up next, we're going to be making sexy clay like Patrick Swayze and Whoopi Goldberg and Demi Moore in that one movie. Sister it's Act. a clay amalgam. He fucking hates me. La, 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 la. Well, you got that stuck in my head. Thanks, Finn. Welcome Thank back you. to the Chairquisition. Uh, this week, we're taking a look at Dungeons of Clay, not Puddle of Mud. Uh, done on, uh, it's developed by Shot X Studio, done on Game Maker Studio. It's a lot of studios. You can pick it up for about $9.99 US. What is it? Explore the ever changing dungeons in a surreal world made out of clay. Unlock the hidden secrets, overcome the dangers, defeat dreadful creatures, and rape the treasures to acquire all Mickey power. Uh, we got to thank uh, Shot X for sending us some keys over Curator Connect so that we could take a look at their game. Uh, yeah. So I, I guess let's get started. Pedro liked the game the most. So once again, that's right. He goes first. He can't be stopped. And for one reason only, uh, but I'll get to that in a moment. What? Uh, over here with the Ryzen 7 3700X, <laughs> uh, with the GTX 1080, uh, it launched out of the box, and uh, what you're looking right now, if you're watching the video version, I had to go into the options to make sure that that wasn't a failing GPU and it was intentional. It's like, oh no, it's just a post-processing um, filter that's doing whatever the hell that is. Uh, the character design, yeah, it's it's danger gazers all over again. The pew pews from your handgun sound amazing, and the slight screen shake when you shoot is very well done. But there's little to no feedback when you get hit, though. Your character goes semi-transparent, but it's very hard to see when you're, no, when you have those filters going and you're in the thick of uh, everything that's happening. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not great. The background music sounds pretty good, uh, in, especially in the respawn room, that uh, jazz with a beat. Oh, good. It fucked. sounds very nice. <laughs> that sax I, I, I will like that haunt your much. nightmares. I like it. I, I, I can't fault it for that. Uh, it, I didn't even bother with a controller because it didn't work in Danger Gazers and it was made in the same engine. So, <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, the, as for the fun, well. After bringing the post effects option down um, to off, you will see that in the video version uh, shortly, I was actually able to reach the first boss, and I honestly really do like the music. I like the music so much that I specifically bought the soundtrack. It really does sound pretty good to my ears anyway. The levels are short enough that the tracks don't really loop more than twice that I noticed, and the emphasized beat of the music helps you get a bit of a rhythm going. But as great as the music is, I still didn't find much enjoyment out of Dungeons of Clay. I also didn't like that one of the options in the uh, little wheel of Booga Booga at the end is, uh, it will straight up kill you. It is basically, oh, run and hide. And there's an unkillable specter that chases you around the map for a little bit of time, and if you don't dodge it, you die and you have to start all over again. That's a dick move. And if the only praise that I could give your game is the background music in spite of everything else, it's probably not a good sign. The only reason you don't get the one is because the background music is that good, so you get two. All right, you, do you want to go or should I? Um... Shit, let me let me just go ahead and knock it out so you can uh, take take a little break there for a minute. But... <laughs> All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, over here on Debian Ten Point, whatever the hell it's at, on the nineteen twenty X old school Threadripper vintage style with a twenty sixty no cape edition. Hey man, it runs, but good luck using a controller. Even if it kind of works, you're you're stuck with whatever spray and pray. Um, button layout it's going to give you because there's no way to reassign it. I tried with everything. Yes, options to rebind, they do absolutely exist. They just don't work. Um, now, it doesn't remember windowed mode when you set it. Full screen all the time. Hope you like it. That's all you're going to get. Um, so every time you restart it, you go back to windowed. When you go back to windowed mode, it does the round robin window resize thing, which is a ginormous pain in the ass. Um, but outside of that, man, Outside of that performance, it's fine, man. I mean, it should be, because look at it. Really? I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's clearly well done. Interestingly crafted. Now, what can I say about Dungeons of Clay? For starters, 
It's about as random as my opinions of roguelikes and procedurally generated levels. Not very. Um, it kind of the same room for me. What I was taking away from it was some of the shit moved around a bit. Um, that's because uh, I don't feel it's very randomized. Maybe not the right way to say it, but yeah. I feel like I played the same map several times with a few in enemy variation variations. That's about it, man. A couple of different guns and the occasional wheel of booga booga, as uh, everyone will talk about, man. Playing with a keyboard and gerbil, it was a glorious pain in the ass because up to jump, what kind of hipster bullshit's that? Seriously? <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Uh, no one likes that control scheme. Uh, Atari sorted that shit, guy. Uh, game wise, there's not much to it, man. I mean, you do jump around, you kill some batteries, and you repeat. And by the look of the thing, um, uh, like a full run's going to take you about an hour, 60 minutes, something like that. Um, what's up with some of the hitback, though? Because talk about like some randomness introduced in this game. Some shit will just pass through you. The other shit will actually make contact with you. Ghost, no ghost. Who knows? Um, spooky sax guy. I guess he was all right at the end of the day. But yeah, man, there's it. No particular thing is bad about the game, but I didn't catch me in any way, shape, or fashion, man. I could absolutely uh left this. So I'm just gonna say one chair. All right, uh, on Fedora 32, I tested this. I, I, I got a crazy setup now. I got an AMD CPU with a NVIDIA GPU, and I got an Intel CPU with an AMD GPU. Uh, but it both works on uh, both installs of Fedora 32, uh, 60 FPS. Uh, but I mean, like, this isn't really a graphical jugg juggernaut. Um, yeah, like Vince says, does not respect your full screen pre preferences. It does remember your control remappings, because like once I found out, oh, up is jump. Nah, space is jump. Up is go fuck yourself. Uh, so at least that part works. Um, no controller support. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a shame. Having to platform with Waz is always awkward. Um, I guess these guys really never played a Mario game or like a, like a Metroid <laughs> game or something with the distinct jump button away from the, uh, from the D pad. But you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know your life, man. I don't know. I didn't like the soundtrack as much as Pedro. It was kind of just there. Uh, I ended up just muting it and putting some of my own background noise because, yeah, the gameplay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this would have been a better experience with the controller. No, uh, we'll never know. The rel the random levels aren't really that random. Sure, like the exact position of things will change, but like everything looks samey. Uh, there might be more spikes or more worms or whatever. I I, I don't know. Uh, the layout is, seems to be more or less constant, even across like multiple levels. And so you just run around, you try to cheese dudes to death because, um, you know, your little pew pew finger guns do bullshit damage. Uh, and sometimes they jam. <coughs> that's uh, that's the thing. That's apparently a gameplay balance thing because you can actually get items that increase your jam chance in exchange for like reduced enemy health or like better ammo drops or more health or whatever. I don't know. That seems a little weird to me. Uh, and I mean, once you're done, yeah, you spin the wheel of booga booga and see if you got to fight more dudes. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. Um, and if you have keys, maybe because like enemies will occasionally drop keys, which you can spend on chests, which just give you money or the random chance rooms, which I think is kind of the better way of going about that because you can actually get some stuff. It's not much in the chests. Um, all in all, it's like a pretty basic role. Like the shooters kind of there's the shooting's kind of meh. And, you know, Pedro is 100 percent right. How many I, I, times did you remember that you had dash? Never. I tried zero. Yeah. I tried using it and it got me killed more often than not. Uh, but like, yeah, Pedro's right about the lack of feedback. I've di I died a couple times because I'm like, wait, what the fuck's happening? Oh, I guess I ran out of health. I, w I wish the game would like telegraph that I'm taking damage. Um, yeah, you and then you're right. You do have like some level of iframes, and there's actually items that will change how much you have. But again, like it's hard to tell. Aiming is a little weird. Sometimes you'll shoot through stuff. Sometimes you won't. Again, I feel like maybe having a controller would make that a little more consistent because you're not doing little micro movements with your mouse i don't know this seems pretty basic there are other, a lot of other roguelikes like this that do this sort of thing but better i can't really give it a recommendation even at this price point i'm gonna give it one share yeah no by the uh by the soundtrack instead uh it's like two dollars seriously it, 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 it is the only thing that's worth the time <laughs> I guess if that's your jam, man. Uh, yeah, this is doesn't this doesn't do it for me, man. I, yeah, maybe with a controller I could have gotten 
I, I would have had more patience with it with a controller yeah. because I could sit back. Because once mm-hmm. you, you you've brought keyboard and mouse into the relationship, that means I got to get up, be up front, pay the attention. I just can't lean back and fuck around and like, ah, it's all right, this is kind of fun. It's like, no, let's get some shit done. Mm-hmm. And now just not feeling with us. Also, I'll, I find that a lot of the um, like the gun upgrades they're worse than the pistol because oh, they yeah. have worse range. Right, it's slower. Yep, it's <laughs> slower and it has worse range, and sometimes it'll bounce. Maybe. You don't know. Yeah. Mm, kind of hard, hard pass next. on this. Coming up next, Ven will tell you why he really, 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 really doesn't like Hackpoint. Texas. And with that uh, particular note of disappointment when it came to the game we threw chairs at. Oh, this I week, thought you were going to talk maybe. about you're disappointed because Jordan's uh, superior macaroni art skills. Yeah, no, that child clearly. Has uh, Are you a, take, a now long he's way calling to go. you a child. First off, he's dissing on your macaroni skills. Now he's calling you a child. I am a child. When when was that? When was that not in question? I'm like mentally an eight year old. It sure. was like it was a Tuesday. To be fair, we're all men children around here. So we're none children. We're half child, half none. <laughs> Good night, ladies really? and gentlemen. Really. <laughs> All right. Well, if you'd like to let us know uh, All of our friends your feelings about us joining the clergy and taking our vows, uh, y- feel free to do so. Go to latestgamecast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form, send us some hate mail over to the LGC Weekly Show. That's the show that you need to pick on the little choosy box. <laughs> and um, yeah, basically, right. Right, so anything you send there. We will we will see it, and if the you're Brian's a game developer, you like it. Brian's of Christ, yes. yes. Chucks. <laughs> if you're a game developer, you'd like us to have a look at your game. Uh, by We're all means, just include for, like, three basic, keys. Yeah, documentation yeah, as well. Yeah. Tra- transcription services, Brian's yeah. of Christ. Yeah, that's the name of our church. BOC. <laughs> Blue Oyster Cult. <laughs> but with more Brian. Is that the new movie by uh, Mel it's, Gibson? It's, it's, no, it's, it's just it's the Blue life of Christ, Christ, but it's all cowbells. Listen, it's all cowbells. All, all I'm saying is like when you hit play, you don't really know what you're going to get. Sometimes you fear the Reaper. Sometimes it's game documentation. All right. Dom. Ooh, yes. Dom had uh, took Dom. some issues with some things that Ven said last week. No, nah, uh, no, this is aimed at all of his bitches. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, he's talking about uh, hell points. Like I can't deny that hell point has plenty of bugs, uh-huh. but I think it's unfair to the developers to go on record and claim that a game still contains game-breaking quote-unquote bugs without backing uh-huh. up that assertion. Okay. None of y'all reported encountering y'all, any wait, game-breaking hang bugs. Hang on, what what is y'all? How how the fuck do you get this aimed at me then? <laughs> Are you projecting, Mateus? Uh, no, you're the only one that during the review claimed that the game had game breaking bugs. I didn't claim bugs. shit. I made factual statements, and as you, well, <laughs> you, you, you'll have you're your the opportunity only one that to defend it. themselves, Mister <laughs> Arguing Against the Straw are, are you Man of Pedro. This? <laughs> it's not a straw man. It's been recorded. It's on video. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ven is arguing against the straw man that is you. I will argue against myself <laughs> if I think it'll be funny. <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, just to wrap uh, Dom's coming up, uh, and there have been no reports in the Steam forums uh, of any such bugs since the patches in August. Where did you see this? Um, let's see. If we're talking about game-breaking <laughs> bugs, uh, there they are. Look at them. <laughs> Those are not game-breaking. That's game-breaking, but makes glitches. me want to stop playing the fucking game, Pedro. Yes, it is. <laughs> so so mi- mildly annoying equals game-breaking. Got it. Uh, my personal <laughs> yep. definition, how dare. <laughs> are, are you are you game breaking bug splaining? Are you bugs? I am. I, I, I am as no, a no, no. Of fact. Game breaking bug gatekeeping. Gatekeeping. Yes. <laughs> Ga- gatekeeping. Man, That's you, exactly you are, what you I was talking mileage. about. Because um, yeah, man, the out of the gate texture corruption. Phil, you know, come internet, fight me on it, and that's hundred percent. And you're right. That would have been shipped back immediately if it wasn't for reviewing the game and also streaming. Get to me around. I wouldn't put up with that shit. And it, to me, that's game breaking in the very simple fact of I wouldn't have played the game. So that kind of breaks the point of having the game. Also, but actual, like, legitimate things, multiplayer. That shit's never worked. It's yeah, a that's fucking brick. That's again, a constant, 
constant so- complaint on the fucking forums, including today when I went and checked. Still fucking broke. I don't know. I'd, I'd say not so much game breaking. Unfortunate. Bad that they have not fixed it yet. But you can still play the game. When I when I think game breaking bug, and I, just 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 to play a little bit of Dead Devils. Advocate, okay. Well, not. can I throw this in before you finish that? Go ahead. What if I had epil- epilepsy? Epilepsy. I would don't you, think that's... would you risk that though. Uh if you started a game and you saw like the random, like un, you couldn't gauge where they were fucking coming and when and the so, frequency. Uh, uh, so let me preface this by saying I am not a doctor. This does not constitute actual medical advice. But if you are someone who is susceptible to photosensitive seizures, then probably you're looking for this ahead of time. Um, I don't think which you wouldn't know about well, because that's not uh, sure. Sure, but 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 I don't. But I don't think that type of flashing because it's not like extreme, like red, blue, red, blue. It's red, black. I don't think that specifically causes epileptic seizures. Um, so would you risk it was the question. Would I risk it? I don't know. I'm not someone with epilepsy. I'm not equipped to make that assertion. What if you hate uh, blinky lights and black squares? What if you have an aversion to black squares? <laughs> <major>? it, the, <laughs> I, 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 don't I mean, know, that's Pedro. a very You're, specific <laughs> hate you have going on there. And, but. and, and you have an issue with lowercase m, the letter. I have an issue with that, but that's because Google's forcing that on me. My, my, the, the point I was getting at, and I think the point that um, that what's his name was getting at, whose name I forget. Dumb. I'm sorry, love, yeah. Dom, our lovely viewer, <laughs> Miss, Miss, Mister Fast and Furious main character. Um, I think I think what he's getting at is game breaking bugs is something that literally stops you from br- progressing in the game. If you get to a point where at the with the tools the game has given to you at your disposal, you mm-hmm. are unable to comp- like Epistory. Epistory is a great, great game breaking bug because once you go into that fire temple, you literally cannot progress beyond that you point. Can't. Yeah. In Hellpoint, <laughs> yeah, there's graphical artifacting. Yes, the multiplayer is busted, but nothing is stopping you from actually completing the game. That I would not go out on that fucking limb. According that, to the fucking forums. <laughs> yeah, I don't think any of us have played enough See, to that, make that, that particular that's, that's claim. That's kind of the whole thing. I will say, but, um, but, you know, we'll have to As agree. far as I've played, and me being oh, the one okay. who played the most of that game, uh, I haven't encountered any game-breaking bugs. Glitches? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tons of them. And Dom even admits as much. But n- nothing game-breaking. Okay. So maybe my definition of things that would stop me from playing the game, which... I've uninstalled the game mainly due to just the texture bullshit that I'm not fucking with. For me, as a personal thing, I'm saying wider definition, fair enough. But I will still say it's an overpriced technical shit show. Is that fair? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> also, we look forward to that online co op working eventually, maybe before <laughs> a year. <laughs> after remote, remote play, baby. That's how you do it. <laughs> Oh, uh, you, you know, you know, Pedro, we we should we should do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get into my Hellpoint game. You're gonna remote in, and then we're just gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna suffer together. It's you gonna be what? it's gonna be Young Blood Part Two. Young I'm definitely Blood Part gonna two. say this. Matthew Matthew brings up an interesting point. Not having game breaking bugs, it's pretty fucking low bar to aim for. It, it, it absolutely is. And fr- from the perspective of being able to finish the game again, because then again, we're talking about video games on Steam. Is that really such a low bar? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> because what, what, I know a few games that didn't meet that pretty low bar, as you put it. <laughs> yeah, true. But here, here, here's, here's the thing. That's exactly what somebody with a crippling fear of a lowercase m would say. <laughs> that was that's Jordan, a, though. That's that's <laughs> Ennis, man. Why 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 do you hate what 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 is with you and your your absolute adoration I, of uppercase M? I thought you said you, dentist. You, I was like dentist. Hmm, can you be against dentist? You can, yeah. Fuck Our man was. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> oh, oh man, Jonathan Rice Daisby, send us some hate mail. Yeah. Oh, dude, we're we're gonna get sued. Let's just get out of here before that happens. All right. <laughs> On that end, shell, ladies and gentlemen, you can always find us kicking off around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. If you are one of the people who make this motherfucking train wreck possible, I want you to show up an hour earlier in our Discord in the Creep Shows. And as a Death Note or above, if you're an executive producer, you'll get a live video feed of that nonsense as well. But get in touch with me. I'm at Vin Stone on Twitter or just at Vin on our Mastodon at Mast. Dialetics Gamecast.com.
Well, I just checked my Twitter and I found I found out that one of the ends sent me a message. They have determined that I'm not an orc. If you're upset by that, I guess you can unfollow me at the Burning Fool on Twitter. If you want more orc content, maybe check out Pedro. He might be an orc. Mark, Mark. I don't know. I was looking for something that could glow blue, but I couldn't find it in time. So you're sure? Uh, if you'd you're, like, oh, to. oh wait, hang on. What, what's under your you're, microphone? You're, you're what's fucking under your LED fucking on your microphone, you fucking goof. It's an XLR. It doesn't have the LED. Um, the then why is it blue? Yeah, that, blue's not a naturally occurring color, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> Explain well, your can... blueness. There we go. You're taking well, too this long. is glowing blue, so clearly All you're right. an orc. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I am at an accounted for on Twitter. That's you where you should shout at me if you'd like to for some Seems reason. Seems legit. People get to roll some credits and die to fire. We'll see you next bye week. Bye-bye. Bye. So, <laughs> we're, we're all in agreement. Ven's a hobbit, though, right? Bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got he's got furry feet. He lives underground. He's totally a hobbit. His best friend's a wizard. <laughs> Wait, Frank's a wizard? Frank is a necromancer, which is a type of wizard. We gotta thank okay, our advisors. We gotta thank Vigilant Viking, who's our big, big spender. We also got our regular yes, ticket son. producers. Arthur and the Atomic Ass, Mike, Mike G. G, Bar Bram, Aldeus, Aldeus. Ma Gotta thank Aldeus extra hard for inflicting Scott. Thursdays on us. Yeah. Hop low. Uh, hop, the, mix, Mr. Foxdog, the only ticky, and our regular producers, those horses like Davis, Smashley G, Michael, Igal, Jolly, Topical, Gaius, Baltar, Matthew, Max. Go, nay. Massivoni, Winter Cell, Nine Bullets, Kylan X Cast, Lucas, the other Jordan, Joe Angel, <laughs> Sherry Vig, Von Hovenstein, oh, oh, Paul, <laughs> Paul, Steven, Paul's like Carl, Douglas, Paul. Thomas, uh, Brad, and Lord We also gotta thank PowerShell on Linux and Nixon's Pyramid for existing on the internet, Pyramid. apparently. Pyramids of Linux. Library.tv at The Nixon's main staples is a thousand. Wasn't there like a money dollar pyramid? TV Probably, show yeah. Uh, isn't that yeah, the yeah. dollar bill that has the pyramid with the eye because I'm, of I'm, the I'm Illuminati? Sure, I'm sure there's a game in The Price is Right where you have to like climb the pyramid. Money dollar pyramid. <laughs> money dollar pyramid, y'all. Come in next the week. the controversy, LGC. <laughs> Five dudes.